Hello, and welcome to Fireside Chats with Matt. Today, we're going to talk about some simple but very valuable and effective concepts for snare drumming. The first one is about one of the stroke types, the downstroke, right? We have natural strokes or legato or rebound or full strokes. We have downstrokes, we have tap strokes, and we have upstrokes. Poor downstrokes often become the culprit to other challenges in phrase and phrases that use taps and upstrokes. Think about the paradiddle. Downstroke in the paradiddle, incredibly important, that first note. Flam accents, first downstroke flam, very important. Accent tap, downstroke, incredibly important. Sixteenth notes with accents, downstrokes, very important. Make sure as a student and as a teacher, downstrokes should be incredibly valuable and mastered. Once again, poor downstrokes are often the culprit to other challenges in phrases using taps and upstrokes. Number two, when talking about natural strokes, think about letting the pad get in the way of the stroke. As a drummer, we move the stick down using our wrist and fingers, let the pad get in the way and change the direction of the stick to now rebound back up. Think about letting the pad get in the way of the stroke as a vector to change direction to come back up. Three, allow your hand, wrist, and fingers to move in tandem with the stick motion. Follow the stick, don't hurry the stick. Often I see many drummers try to hurry the motion and hurry the stick. Then they become disconnected with the stick. I've heard people say, as drummers we don't play the drums, we play the sticks. So make sure you move in tandem with the stick. Follow the stick, initiate the motion, don't hurry the stick. Next, the term microstroke is another, I think, good name for a tap. For beginners, for people to trying to work on their taps, keeping them nice and low, we've heard the phrase, keep your taps down, keep your grace notes down, right? I found that using the term microstroke sometimes is a little bit more concrete and something to grasp onto for younger players. Play good microstrokes. Next, use a mirror or computer screen to monitor your stick heights. Use the design image on your shirt as a visual height guide. A lot of the Vic Firth shirts have an American flag with lots of different bars on it. That works as a great tool to be able to monitor your stick heights. And here's the most important. Slow practice is essential to feel comfortable with your different stroke type combinations or anything for that matter in what we do. The secret to playing fast is practicing slow. Here's a good sentence. You'll be able to play faster sooner if you'll only practice slower longer. Sounds like double talk, but listen to it again. You'll be able to play faster sooner if you'll just practice slower a little longer. I hope you've enjoyed our fireside chat. Um, thank you to Yamaha and to Music For All for offering these opportunities to share our knowledge with everyone else. I hope you all enjoy and happy drumming.